the father of one-year-old Justice Starks revealing all of his emotions as he waited since last November to hear an arrest has been made and the brutal death of his baby girl. I was happy uh, Justice was served and uh, we finally got an arrest. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office says 37-year-old Leroy Matoyer III has been charged with one count of felony murder and one count of first-degree child abuse. He was arraigned and remanded to jail on Saturday. What is your message to this person who's been arrested? I just don't understand that kind of type of behavior towards her. I don't understand how any adult can do that. Prosecutors say the 37-year-old was babysitting Justice when he assaulted her. The child was treated at a nearby hospital for her injuries, but passed away a few days later. I get a phone call. My daughter's in the hospital brain dead. The cause of death was multiple blunt force trauma to the head. On Monday, Starks went to pick up the medical examiner's report. Her uh, brain was swollen, covered in uh, blood. With several bruises, they got a bruise chart. There's pretty much bruises all over her body. Stark says what's also upsetting is that the suspect is being called a babysitter when he learned during the investigation that he is a friend of the child's mother. I hired a babysitter and like, I, like what God wasn't no babysitter. It was her boyfriend. It wasn't even a situation where he should ever be caring for my daughter. She had babies, she had grandparents, she had me. She was, it was available people that loved her. Fox 2 reached out to the attorney for the mother of justice and she did not want to speak on camera, but her attorney says she has been working with authorities to get an arrest. Her attorney also released a statement which reads in part, Unfortunately, nothing can be done to bring justice back and no form of retribution will make this family whole again. At this time, the family is happy to see that the initial steps toward receiving answers and justice for justice have been taken. Detroit police also tell Fox 2 that this case has been wrapped up with this arrest. But this father believes additional answers are needed. But for now, he leans on family like his grandfather for support. I just think, like, it's more to the story. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm fighting for. In Pontiac, Ingrid Kelly, Fox.